In this exercise, we'll go through regression commands, the basic regression commands. So first we go to Home and to Attach Tools. Here we actually select the references. And uh, we see that we already have a reference, terrain.dgen, that is our terrain file, and railmodel.dgen is the 3D model inside this dgen file. So we go and add tools, attach, and select track uh, centerline points. As the attachment method, we select coincident world, and hit open. So now we can see that our points are displayed in here. We navigate to our rail tab. And first, select all the points that we attach from the screen. Here, we select sort horizontal regression points command. This command just creates a line string, an ordered set of points from the points that you provide. So to be able to use as a regression input, these points should first be ordered as a line string. We select as the feature definition, alignment and geometry temp. We data point to accept the selected points. Then we select start point. The start point is the point where the regression the, or where the sorting algorithm searches for the points. That's the starting point for our search. So we select this point and then we just select the second point which determines the search direction so we select our second point now the program will be searching for new points in this direction and we'll find them based on these parameters that you provide here for minimum distance tolerance i input one meter accept that for maximum distance tolerance, I select 300 meter. These minimum and maximum distance tolerances are the t uh, distances that we will use for uh, searching for the next point. So the program will ignore any point that is closer than one meter to the previous one or which is uh, away from uh, more than 300 meter again from the previous point. So I just gave 300. And the maximum deviation is the, we can say that it's sort of search angle. So it just looks right and left while looking for the next point. And this deviation value uh, will determine how much uh, deviation is allowed for the next point. So we just input five. And we just go select element selection. We can see that the points now are sorted. So it, the program just created a line string from the points that you provide. From this point on, we don't need the original points anymore. So we go to home, to attach tools, select our reference and turn off the display. This will allow us to have a more clear view of our regression line. The next step after creating the regression line is using the regression tools to create our geometry. Now we go back to our rail tools. In this exercise we will only focus on horizontal regression so we will not go into the vertical regression. Now we can do create our geometry using single horizontal regression tool. But this tool can be used both on in this view, so directly on the plan view, or we can use what we call a curvature diagram. So let's first create a curvature diagram. This command in here is used for creating the curvature diagram. I select the first one, which is for horizontal curvature diagram. I select the command, select the regression line, and then open a view. 
So I click inside the regression, the view, and the program creates a regression space. Regression diagram represents the curvature of each point, that is the deflection of each point relative to two other points neighboring to that point. So if you look at the regression diagram, we can see that we have some uh, points closer to zero and some points are away from zero. The points that have low curvature values are the points which are on a tangent or on a straight line. So they do not deflect in relation to other points uh, neighboring them. On the other hand, the points that constantly has a high deflection, high curvature value, these points are on the curves. So you can see that the values are either on positive or negative. This means that they are either to the left or to the right. So we can see that we have a, a left-hand curve here and then a right-hand curve in here. And the regions that are between low, low curvature and high curvature are the transition curves. These are the spirals. So they start with a low uh, deflection and then transitions into the high deflection values, which are the curves. So, so we use our um, single horizontal regression tool to create our geometry. I select the tool. You can use this tool either on the plan or on the curvature view. As we said, we will use the curvature view now. So I select the line, the curvature line here. And from the tool interface, I select geometry baseline as uh, my feature definition. The Comment asks me to select my first point. I go and click the start of my points and then come and select that. Don't select the spirals. Spirals will be added later with a different command. So here we will just regress the uh, tangents and curves. Also, please notice that uh, in the uh, toolbox, you have three options. This is automatic line or arc. So if you select line, it will create a line uh, regardless of the curvature of the points. If you select arc, then you will force it to create an arc. Or if you select, as we are doing now, automatic option, which will determine if a arc or line to be created based on the curvature of the point. So let's try this. I'll just select somewhere about the end. And then I move my cursor up. So you can, uh, with using your mouse cursor, you can select which points to be included. For example, we can see that we have an outlier in here. So I, I just don't move my mouse so high that it will also include this outlier. And just create a box and click. We can see that in here, a geometry, a piece of geometry, in this case a tangent, is created. So I continue with selecting my second element. You see that now a curve is created because we are in the automatic mode. It determines this automatically. Then this one, this one, another curve. Another line, curve, and you can see that they are created in the plan view as we are going through this. And finally, this last item. Okay, so we created, as you can see, one, two, three, four tangents and three curves. And as you can see, the Curvature diagram is very helpful in uh, finding, in determining the curves and tangents. It is, as I said, you can use this same tool also on the plan view by selecting from here, but usually it is much easier to identify a tangent or curve on a curvature diagram than directly doing that on the plan view. We 
select element selection and uh, turn off our curvature diagram we can see that we have our geometry and underneath we can also see that we have our regression line we see that we created our curves and tangents but we don't have spirals so to be able to introduce the spirals first we need to create a complex geometry out of these individual elements here to do that we first need to turn off the display of this regression line so that it will not interfere with our complex geometry i go to home from the level display i turn off the geometry temp this one and you see that it is it disappeared and hide my level display then i go to rail complex by element the method is automatic i enter a gap a big gap value so that the, while creating the complex it will jump through these gaps between the elements i just enter 300 meters as my feature definition i again select geometry baseline and then i zoom into my first element just the important thing here is selecting the element from the bottom half because if you just go and try to select it from the top half you'll see that the arrow that shows the, uh, where it will be uh, in what direction it will be creating the complex is uh, pointing downward so this is wrong we should select it somewhere from here and we see that the arrow is pointing up i click it go through all the elements and just i ex uh, click somewhere in the screen to accept and now if we go to element selection we can see that now our elements are a single piece of element finally to create our final geometry that also includes the spirals we will use the spirals compre complex spiral between command this command will combine these elements with adding spirals of course please note that the spirals will be created where it is possible if there is no geometric solution then you'll see that no spiral is created and the gap will remain as a gap so this command just goes through all the elements and it creates or adds spirals wherever it can create one as the feature definition again i select geometry baseline and now as i'm creating my final geometry i give it a name also so i'll call it track south and then locate the center line and now i see that it created something let's see you can see that we now have spirals connecting our curves and tangents the color coding is the red is for tangents yellow is for our spirals and the orange color is for our curves if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel Thank you and see you next time.